Once we have trimmed the foot, shaped our shoe and burnt on, we apply a liberal amount of arty mud over the frog in the collateral grooves and anywhere there's separation in the laminae. We then mix and apply our dim before applying our shoe. Once we have a nail in the foot, we allow the horse to stand. This pushes the excess dim out from underneath the pad and is an important part of the process. We then finish nailing up the shoe. These photos and x-rays show the trim through to the finished job. In this instance we took a foot that was significantly MPA to about 0 degrees after our trim and almost 4 degrees positive after the application of the shoe and the wedge pad. It's always important to fit the feet with adequate width so the foot is still on top of the shoe at the end of the shoeing cycle. In this case we were able to improve the proportions of this foot. The after trim proportions were 64% from COR to toe and 36% from COR to the heel. By using a wedge pad and a rolled toe shoe set slightly back from the toe we were able to achieve a 48% COR to break over and a 52% COR to the heels. This was an excellent result for the horse and the owner reports a huge difference in her horse's posture, stance, comfort, behaviour and performance.